you know how hotel reviews can be fun and I think this one's going to be my most enjoyable of all. Hey everyone, it's Cashew. Today's adventure brings us to Cincinnati, Ohio, more specifically the community of Clifton. And yes, I have my mask, but it's late and no one's around. And I wanted to show you this place. It's fascinating, it's nice and quiet. It's quiet anyway because of the pandemic going on. There's not a lot of people here, but I wanted to show you. See in the background, there's a Crosley car. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Wait till you see this place. Our adventure starts here. This is the downstairs lobby, and there are two levels, and the second lobby upstairs is where I check in. And I just want to show you around. This place is phenomenal. There's copywritten music being played, so I'm going to try to talk over it, or I'll just take some shots and, and play some copyright-free music over it to show you. But here is the Crosley car, and there's quite a few of these in Cincinnati, and I know I've shown you a few of them. And I'm definitely going to have to do a, a vlog on Crosley because he's a fascinating man. And here's one of the cars that he created. And they have one in their lobby. I love this carpeting. It has several themes going. I see it looks like a wheel on a steamboat, which... We have the Delta Queen down on the river, and we have flying pigs here to represent the Flying Pig Marathon. And of course, back in the day, Cincinnati was nicknamed Porkopolis. And we have some beautiful cardinals. And this is another part of the lower lobby, and the floor used to be part of the basketball court of the Shoemaker Center. And this is the Bearcat, which is the University of Cincinnati's mascot. What I like about this is that the face of the Bearcat has Union Terminal painted on it. And then if you look above, the ceiling looks like the murals that are painted inside of Union Terminal. Okay, let's go up on the second level of the lobby. I like how they have the wall mural look like a postcard. And I like the light fixtures too. Before COVID, their breakfast used to be laid out like this. Of course, things have changed for now. Throughout the hotel, they have beautiful artwork, and this is one of them. This is a piece done by Edie Harper, who was the wife of Charlie Harper, a Cincinnati artist. And this is a gallery wall of the Harper's work. This is the Poindexter, it's a little cafe, but it's closed due to COVID. You can see how fun this place is. It's sort of like Mad Men meets Andy Warhol, and it's really cool. The people here are really accommodating. I explained to the lady at the desk that I couldn't uh, show this to you with copywritten music being played, and so she shut it off until I can show this to you. So, thank you very much. All the toys you see represent Kenner Toys that's Cincinnati-based. Here's Yoda with Play-Doh. And over there's Batman and the Hall of Justice, which looks like Union Terminal. And of course, there's good old Chewbacca. And there's a toy from my childhood, the Six Million Dollar Man. I like this. This is Stretch Armstrong holding the Millennium Falcon. 
This wall is probably my favorite. It has Beetlejuice, Batman and Robin, Princess Leia, and a goat. I was fortunate getting a reservation. They were able to pencil me in. This is the lobby of the eighth floor elevator. And this is the floor I'm staying on. And this reminds me of something from Mad Men. And this is a really cool print. It has numerous references to Cincinnati and I'll show you some of them. Here's Lonnie Anderson who appeared in WKRP in Cincinnati. This is director Steven Spielberg who was born in a community called North Avondale. And here are a couple people from local TV. The guy in the top hat is Bob Shreve. He had a show called Past Prime Playhouse. He would play movies from midnight to 6 a.m. Saturday night. And the guy on the right in the hat was the cool ghoul. You might remember my vlog on the Neil Armstrong Museum. This is Neil Armstrong, the first man to walk on the moon. And he taught at University of Cincinnati for a while. And this is an example of Rickwood pottery. This is Fiona from the Cincinnati Zoo. If you remember my vlog on the Voice of America Museum, that's Uncle Al, next to William Howard Taft. And this is a cardinal depicted by Cincinnati artist Charlie Harper, and the goat represents Bachfest. And if you notice, the outline of this image looks like the figure at the top of Fountain Square's fountain. Okay. Now it's time for the room review. I like this carpet. And this is really clever. The room numbers are on a plaque that looks like an award you would get in college. Okay, I'm standing at my door and this is what you see as you walk in and all I can say is wow. Just wow. It's quirky, it's unique, it's fun. And I wanna show you how they pay so much attention to detail, it's just, phenomenal. I really like this room and let me show you some of the things that make it so much fun. Off to the right is the mirror and over here I'll show you this stuff in just a second. And look at this light fixture. It has a nice art deco look to it. it. Reminds me of Union Terminal. And as you walk in off to the left is the bathroom and check this out. It's very nice and clean it has a makeup mirror, really cool looking light fixtures, a mirror, a sink with a lot of space to spread out, of course the bathroom, and I like the floor pattern. That's really cool. And here's the shower, and it's a really good sized shower. You can see let me show you the wallpaper. And this is Bootsy Collins wallpaper. And if you don't know who Bootsy Collins is, he's a local musician. Like I said, they have nice attention to detail. And in my room is this picture of William Hallery Taft sitting on a horse. And at the end of this video, I'll have a link to my William Howard Taft vlog. I really like this light fixture. I'm not sure if it's mid-century modern or 1980s. And these cards are keys to my hotel room. And they look like identification cards for Nipsey Russell and Frank Robinson. And talk about detail. Even the card holder looks like something you'd find in the back of a library book. And this is a really awesome seating area here. And check out the light. And on this wall is my TV on top of a mid-century modern credenza. And on this side is my refrigerator. And unlike most refrigerators I've encountered in hotels, this one actually keeps my drinks cold. I have a balcony in my room and let me show you outside.
What a beautiful view of the city. I'm not sure if you can see the building in the distance, but on top it looks like it has like a flashing billboard. They have table and chairs out here, but it's early January and it's way too chilly to be out here. And speaking of chili, look at my nightstand. It has three-way chili on it. And I like how it looks like pop art. And on my other nightstand, I have another Cincinnati favorite, a cheese coney. Let me give you a 360 of the bedroom, and then I'll show you some of the finer points. I love these astronaut lamps. They look like giant Kenner toys. I love the astronaut lamps, but this tiger lamp is my favorite. And all three lamps are not just fashionable, they're functional too. Each one of them has a USB port and an electrical outlet. And I really like the vintage looking phone as well. This headboard has a nice art deco look to it and it's no accident that it resembles Union Terminal or the Hall of Justice. And this print has several Cincinnati landmarks like the Roebling Bridge, Union Terminal, and Music Hall. And over here is another print focusing on the hippo from the Cincinnati Zoo, Fiona. I like how the wallpaper and the drapes match. And I'm not quite sure if it resembles graph paper or a public restroom. You decide. And lastly, take a look at this chair. When I first came in, I thought they had a picture sitting in the chair. And it's actually the chair back. Suffice it to say, I love this room. And I want to come back here very soon. If I had to give this place a grade, I'd give it an A. Definitely a solid A. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 10. I really enjoy this room. This is probably my favorite hotel I've ever stayed in. I really mean that. I just really enjoyed it. It's just the complete package. It has parking underneath the hotel. It has wonderful artwork. It's really kitschy and, and fun. And it's a nice nod to Kenner Toys that used to be here in Cincinnati. And the staff is fantastic. They're all great. Everybody's so nice and helpful. And I definitely recommend this place. And if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, everyone, this is Cashew signing off. And talk about attention to detail. Because it's called The Graduate, instead of having Do Not Disturb signs, they have Studying, Please Do Not Disturb. Hello? Is Sally there? Hello? I miss you too. Well, I'll talk to you when I get back. Okay. Well, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up. Hello?